everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are doing Peacock Coasters and that was suggested by Lala Hastings. For this one we're using the transparency film and I've mixed my resin and I'm using the Easy Cast. So I have some pigment, just plain white because I want it to have a white background so that the colors will will show really nicely when I put the images on there. So I've mixed two ounces, I'm making two coasters. So I'm gonna pour one ounce into this one, one ounce into the other. Take the lighter, pop the bubbles, and then let this sit a minimum of 12 hours. Since I'm doing two coasters, one is gonna be a peacock that I drew, and the other one is gonna be a peacock feather that I took a picture of. And obviously the whole thing isn't gonna be in there. What I really wanted to concentrate was on the eye to include that in the coaster, thinking that would make a bigger impact. Now, both of these images I have available for free over in my image store, and I will have a direct link to that in the description below, and you can click right on it, and you can browse some of my other ones, but these two are currently free over there, so, so be sure to check those out and grab those, and you could use them on coasters or in other projects. I'm going to cut them out using my cutter. Whenever possible, I have the products that I use linked in the, the video description, so if you're looking for it, a lot of times that will help out. Now this is a really great example of using your own pictures or artwork to be able to make some you know home decor items, some coasters. So I'm going to just press down and cut it out. I have two more ounces of the resin mixed and now I'm going to just pour some right in here and in here. I'm going to get some bubbles to rise to the top and then take our lighter pop them. Now we're going to take our images, I'm going to slide them in, and I do it this way because if I just put the image in first and poured the resin over it, I would get a ton of bubbles stuck underneath. So now I'm going to take it, press it down, get the air out from under, those bubbles will rise to the surface, and you'll see if you have some stuck underneath it, just press down for a while. And then I'm going to do the very same with our peacock feather. Slide him in. Press it down. The white background um, makes the colors very vibrant and it stands out. If I did a dark background behind it, it would kind of blend in. So that's why I went with white on both of these. And if you haven't seen, um, I've done a ton of coasters with this and sometimes I painted the back of the transparency film if I wanted a different color background um, so that things would still stand out. So check out some of the other videos and you'll see all kinds of different ways to do this stuff. Go, I'm going to pop the bubbles again and then once the bubbles are popped, we're going to wait 12 hours before we come back and unmold it. So here are the coasters and we are going to unmold them. we got a couple of peacocks. So remember that this is a great way to use your own artwork or to take a picture and use photographs in coasters to make projects. And remember I have both of these images for free right now over at my image store. Okay it's time for the fish bowl. Trying to build a little excitement there. Okay we had a lot of good ideas so let's pick one. And if you want your idea in the fishbowl for next week, be sure to leave it in the comments on the most recent coaster video. All right, I have Claudia P. Baby Shower Coaster Party Favor. So that's what we're doing next week. If you haven't yet, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And if you like the Peacock Coasters, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you share it with your friends, that'd be great too. And remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. We will see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe.